So many things need to be improved in Pokemon Duel. It's showtime. We could be. Warning, the views and reviews of this video is showtimes and showtimes alone. This is simply just my opinion. Well, without further ado, let's do it. So, I didn't put this list in any order. And the reason for that is, I think this should be implemented immediately, each and every one of these suggestions. So, let's do it. First things first, they need to alert you when your duel is featured. I mean, I know I've been featured in many duels because I play some really wacky decks, but I've never actually seen myself being featured. I mean, I play round decks, I play decks with just three versus three. I mean, I play some really crazy decks, and I know I'm featured, but I never see myself. Oh, I wonder why. They should give you an alert. Next up, in-game chat, in-game emojis, and in-game VMs. I mean, this is a PvP game. I mean, maybe you're not going to chat during the game, but you should, maybe after the match you should chat. You say, hey, I would have won if my Sogaleo didn't go into mystery. Or say, hey, I would have won if that if you didn't have that double chance in Deoxys attack form. You know, I mean, in the game, you should have maybe emojis, you know, I, I mean, even BMs. I mean, saying good game or nice match or let's play again or something. You know, I mean, this is a PvP game. There should be some communication. Next up, we should have a lobby with chat and rankings. I mean, there should literally be a lobby where you can go hang out and we should talk to each other in app and you should with the ranking next to your name and you're like so let's say if i see zoom up there if i see zoom 4000 i'm like hey zoom what, what's going on i mean uh let's let's battle i, I know i could take you zoom would be like showtime you're hovering around 3000 you can't take me and said we'll see i got this poison deck for you let's do it and zoom were like let's do it and then after the after the match we can we can talk like hey showtime you have a deck that really doesn't need sea levels i mean that that was great you know that was good or he could say hey let's play again that was luck you know there should be some communication some chat some lobby with chat next up we should have friend requests so we can see so we can see our friends when they're online and then we can challenge them you know i mean how many times do you play someone like wow that was a good matchup i like his style you know he was really really passive it was a long game we we both went down to the wire we we both used over four minutes you know i would love to play them again you know or the opposite you know maybe you like playing quick matches and maybe he rushed maybe he was running the double coco double mew and you know a deoxys speed form and like and you want that quick aggro match you know that person you know you may want to face them again you, you know you should have friend requests so you can challenge each other spectate mode let's say you like a friend's deck you should be, you should be able to spectate them online for for a long time for a period so let's say you face someone and they're going against you and, and they're running a, a deck that's not you know the normal deck so just for example let's say they're they're running a round deck and they beat you with the round deck and you're wondering wow I wonder how consistent that round deck is, you know, let me see how he does against other matchups. You should be able to spectate that person over and over and over and to see how well they do with the deck. That way, you can make an educated decision on whether or not you want to invest your, your precious material into a, uh, a deck like that. Spectate mode needs to be in this game. Next up, they need to rework the Megas. I mean, the Megas are a huge disappointment. I mean, we see uh, Mega Gengar on a consistent basis and it stops there we don't see any other mega consistently i mean they need to maybe the mega should last the entire match but it might be overpowered that way i mean maybe the mega should last just on your turn or here's a thought maybe the mega should just last on the opponent's turn that way it won't be that overpowered i mean i don't know what the answer is but they need to re rework the megas because the mega usage is is dismal is dismal i mean this is the only pokemon game that has megas that the megas don't last the entire match or, or the entire game you know if i play a mega and i've spent two plate spots maybe, maybe that's the key maybe take away the plate spots i don't know what it is but they need to rework the megas I mean, my suggestion was to make a, a different thing, make it a legendary Pokemon, so the the Megas could have be a standalone figure, or it could be a legendary standalone figure. I don't know what you guys thought. Next up, trading. And I know all the business majors and all the aspiring business majors think uh, this may cripple the business model of Pokemon Duel, but put a price tag on it. I mean, make trading cost 
gems. I mean, make it cost a thousand gems to make a trade. For whatever whatever the break even point is, make make trading cost two thousand gems to make a trade. You know, but there's there's no way in the world I should be stuck with Pokemon that I really won't use. Let's say I, I managed to pull a Rash and a Zack, but excluding is just not my thing. You know, but there's somebody out there that has a Rash but 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 really needs a, a Zekrom. I mean, I should be able to tr trade it away. You know, let me trade my Zekrom for their Deoxys attack form. I mean, wh whatever whatever it is. Or let me trade my, my Reshiram and a Mew for their Deoxys attack form. Wh whatever you think it, it may mean, but... If you think it's gonna break the business model, make it cost gems. I mean, it's a terrible feeling uh, when you when you finally do have pulls and then you get Pokemon that you will never use. But those Pokemon somebody else would really, really, really want to use. Prime example is maybe even Seismitoad. Some people never use Seismitoad because they don't like poison decks. But other people would really love a second Seismitoad, and but they really don't want to craft it. So trading should be a thing, you know, and uh, and for those of you guys, again, who thinks it's going to break the business model, just put a price tag on it, you know, make it 2,000 gems, whatever it is, make it 3,000 gems, whatever it is, you know, just just make it so it's effective for both the player and the developers of the game. Next up, we need to have Facebook and Google Plus backup accounts. I mean, this is the year 2018. I mean, there's no way in the world that, um, forget about the money aspect, because the money could be replaceable. But people put serious time into the game, and that's time is a non-renewable resource. I mean, if you sink hours and hours into the game, and then you have to factory reset your phone, and you lose the app, and you lose your progress, you know, that's extremely disappointing. Next up, individual Pokemon stats. I mean, we need to know how many duels my individual Pokemon had, how many battles it had, how many battles it won and the percentages, how many losses and of the battles and the percentages, and how many times it spun a miss and the percentages. I mean, all this stuff is trackable. I'm pretty sure they have the data. They just need to give it to us. I mean, we all know RNG takes a big aspect into the game, but some of us thinks our Pokemon just oh, just like to miss, you know, and we, we, it should, we should have to have the raw numbers to back up or, or not to back up our claims. Next, preemptively move your Pokemon. You might guys might be like, Showtime, what are you talking about preemptively move your Pokemon? So let's say, for example, it's your opponent's turn. And no matter what, you know what you, you know what you have to do. You know, you know it's their turn, and no matter what you, they do, you want to cover up your goal. You know, or no matter what they do, you want to take their entry point. You shouldn't have to wait for them to make their move for you to actually preemptively make your move. I mean, that way, as soon as they make your their move, your move should automatically trigger. You know, so that you won't waste any time off the clock. I mean, how many times do we lose precious seconds off the clock because we have to wait for them to complete their move? And then here's the next point. Um, it's your turn, but then the animations start going off. I mean, the animations start going off, so I can't even click on my mind. I, I can't move my mind because animations are going off. And it's not like it's actual visual animations. Then these animations are just audio. They're just they're just sounds. I mean, they're just sounds. I mean, we we shouldn't be able to actually uh, have to wait for your sound animation to actually move your Pokemon. These are precious seconds that we're losing off the clock, and these will make the games go a lot quicker. So po uh, Pokemon Duel has to do something about that. Next up, they should let you read your opponent's plate and the Pokemon's description, even if they're making a move. I mean, this always happens in the middle of, in the beginning of the match. So let's say it's the beginning of the match, and you want to see exactly what Pokemon are in play. I mean, you can see what Pokemon your, your your opponent is running, but you can't see how many C levels really. You can't see what what move they leveled up. You can't read all their plates because once you click on it, if they make a move, the game is gonna quickly jump to the cutscene of the move being made. And then you have to go back after you make your move to actually read the plates again. And sometimes it takes a while, sometimes two, sometimes three times you have, you're clicking back and forth to actually read the entire plate matchup or the entire Pokemon matchup. I mean, Pokemon Duel should let you just read the... If I click on a Pokemon, I want to be able to look at that Pokemon as long as I want. I shouldn't be rushed back to the game, you know? So the devs definitely have to fix that. Next up, more hotels need to be released. I mean, come on now, this is like the one year anniversary of the global release of the game, and we still have the same hotels. I mean, the hotel mode was fun. I mean, it was nice grinding for particular plates, you know, I'll, I'll remember grinding for double chance plates when I thought that was the best plate in the world, you know, but they need to release more hotels. I mean, we can see them, but, you know, let's release them. 
We need to be able to sell or fuse AI tickets. I mean, come on now. I mean, maybe during the first two weeks of the game, it's nice to have AI tickets to see what the computer suggests. But after that, you know, I have no use for AI tickets. I know some people use them, you know, when they're playing gym cups or, you know, when time is running down, they use AI tickets to make the time not matter so much. But me personally, I love playing the game. So AI tickets, I just want to be able to fuse them so I get some material or fuse them for some gold or something. Uh, let's, let, me, let me be able to get rid of them. I mean, they actually upped the AI tickets. They, it used to be five AI tickets. Now they're giving us 10 AI, AI tickets in, in, a, in a clump. I mean, I don't need them. So we should be able to do something with them. Tournaments and the application. Um, we definitely need tournaments in this game. I mean, maybe we can wager gems to get into the tournament. And then the prize is an EX cube or the prize could be some, some, some more gems. But we need tournaments. I mean, this will make the game a, a lot more fun. You know, instead of just doing doing daily missions, you know, you can actually enter a tournament and have fun and actually be recognized. Maybe get some trophies or some 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 masks, some different masks or something for the tournament. You know, maybe even customize your avatar a little bit more. But yeah, we need tournaments in the app itself. Next up, we need in-app clans. I mean, these clans should have chat in the apps also. I mean, you can receive rewards based on how the clans collectively, the, how the clan, clans collectively do for each one month season. I mean, we're mitigating this because uh, we have uh, clans and we use Discord to chat and you know, you put a little letter in, fr in front of the name and that's how you can claim a clan. But there needs to be rewards tied to this and the clan should actually be in the app. You know, then you can actually chat more easily and more frequently. Next up, we need to make typing matter more. This is a Pokemon game. I mean, typing should matter. A fire Pokemon shouldn't be able to knock out a water Pokemon easily. You know, maybe give a boost to the water Pokemon's wheel segment. Or give the fire Pokemon a larger miss segment. I mean, something has to happen. You know, a grass type Pokemon shouldn't be able to knock out a fire type Pokemon very easily either. I mean, there's many typings that should ma matter offense defense. And they need to implement that more in the game. I mean, that's what Pokemon games are about. You know, that, that needs to be part of the process. We need to make one movement point Pokemon easily playable. I mean, the easiest solution to this is we need to, um, the devs could create a new plate. It could be called Super Goal Block. It could be an EX plate. And basically what the plate does, it moves the Pokemon from the bench straight to the goal. So that will make one movement point Pokemon relevant really, really quickly. So all the Metagross fans, he'll actually be playable. I mean, you, you take your one movement point Pokemon from the bench and Put them right on the goal. I mean, you can use Manaphy that way. I mean, there's many one movement point Pokemon that, that you can use that way. And that way they won't be in your in your collection just collecting dust. Next up, we need to rework some plates. I mean, certain plates shouldn't end your turn. I mean, the prime suspect of this, I feel, are energy plates. You know, I feel energy plates shouldn't end your turn. I mean, when you play a plate, I mean, you're using it to gain momentum, not lose momentum. But right now, there's certain plates you play, you're actually losing momentum. And, and the energy plates are a pr prime example of this. I even think long throw shouldn't end your turn. If I play long throw, if I want to attack, I should be able to attack. If I, uh, you know, it, it shouldn't end your turn. You know, I don't know. You guys let me know what you think. Also, you should be able to take your Pokemon miss segment past level 4. I mean, if I invest precious Carmenite in a figure, I should be able to make the list, the miss disappear completely or just disappear or get leveled down as much as the Carmenite will allow it possible. I mean, me making a hard decision whether or not to decrease my dodge or increase my main attack, you know, it, it's comical. I should be able to decrease the miss if I want to. Come on, devs, let's let's get let's get on this. So guys, thanks for watching. You know, check my channel. I have more than 50 informative Pokemon Duel videos. I mean, I really appreciate the views. However, trainers, also comment and subscribe. It takes a lot of time putting these videos together, and it will really show your fellow Pokemon trainer that you appreciate my effort. I'm sorry that I said it was only 10, the top 10 things to implement in Pokemon Duel. I mean, it really was like 20. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good day. Bye, trainers.